I did not have the tools to break metal like that. I don't know how I thought I was gonna do it. Superpowers, the Holy Spirit. It's Fortune Frankly and welcome to Fortune Frankly Fridays where we do DIY home decor and more. New hair, who does? Today's video is another episode of DIYing the Zodiac. In this series, we take the current Zodiac sign and make some DIYs that would be amazing gifts for them, something that matches their personality. And this video is dedicated to all my Leos out there. Now, if you don't know much about Leos, I'll give you a little refresher. Leos are known for their big personalities. Now, you can take that in a positive way or a negative way, but you can't have a big personality without a big mouth. They're also known for their natural kind of confidence that makes them stand out. And they're known for being very loyal. That matches with their symbol, the lion. On the other hand, Leos are known for being overbearing sometimes. You know, they're doing a little too much. And this goes hand in hand with their want and sometimes their need to be the center of attention all the time. And they're also sometimes known for letting their pride get in the way of progress. That's a nice way to put it. I'm speaking from personal experience for both the negatives and the positives here because my mom is a Leo. She would agree with me on this. She watches my videos so she knows. <laughs> Some famous Leos include Jackie Ina, Kylie Jenner, and Barack Obama. And now that you know a little bit more about Leos and my mom, let's get started. For this first project, we are making a halo crown. Now I thought some type of crown would be very fitting because uh, Leos like to think they are the king, queen, ruling person of whatever space they occupy. This kind of goes in line with the symbol of the lion because you know once they stake their claim and their territory, that's their domain. For this project you'll need a headband, zip ties, and some spray paint. Starting with the headband, I'm going to start wrapping my zip ties around it. You'll notice that there are two sizes of these zip ties in the pack. The black ones are shorter and the red ones are longer. Now this headband is made up of circles, so that means there's a back and you can see it from the front. So we're essentially going to be putting two layers of the zip ties. Now I'm going to tie the zip ties, one in each circle, kind of alternating between the red and the black ones. I'm going to put one red and two black ones in between. This is the basis for our design and it kind of gives me like Statue of Liberty vibes, you know, freedom, stuff like that. I'm going to flip around the headband and do the same thing on the back side. Now a quick note here that you can put these zip ties either way facing inside or out, but you want them all to be facing the same way to give you some uniformity. Once I've looped them all on, I'm going to cover this with some gold metallic spray paint. And I'm gonna shift the zip ties to be a little angled on that circle on the headband, just so that I can spray paint all of the spots. But I actually ended up liking this look better, so I just left it like that. And here's how it looks. For project numero dos, we are making a mirror. It's kind of functional, but it's more cute than anything. This obviously goes with the vanity and pride that some Leos have sometimes. And whenever they walk by, they'll be able to check themselves out in the mirror. Plus, this just looks really cute that I think non-Leos would love it too. For this project, you'll need a picture frame, mirror effect spray paint, water, 
vinegar, a spray bottle, scrapbooking paper, and Mod Podge. Starting with our picture frame, we're just gonna take it apart, make sure that the glass is clean. It's better if you clean it with a microfiber cloth so that you don't leave any fuzzies behind. Who wants to see that in their mirror? Next, I'm gonna take the water and mix it with vinegar in a one-to-one -one ratio, then pour that into my spray bottle. Then I'm gonna go in with my mirror effect spray paint and spray that piece of glass from the picture frame just with a light layer. Don't go too heavy, don't be extra. I'm gonna let it sit and dry for a few minutes and then spray it with my water vinegar mix. I'm gonna let that sit on there for a few seconds and then pat it dry first with a paper towel, but it was leaving like designs on the mirror that I wasn't feeling. We're, we wanna make it cute, but I'm not trying to do too much. You see, we're not doing extra like the Leos over here. So I decided to use something that doesn't have any ridges in it, like my microfiber cloth, you know, or a wipe or something like that. And we're literally just gonna repeat this process, spraying with the Mirror Effect spray paint and then wiping it down. And this will create kind of like a vintage effect to the mirror. It won't be a super opaque mirror, if that makes sense. Once you like how your mirror is looking and it's had time to dry, we're gonna put some Mod Podge on the same side that we sprayed. And we're gonna be gluing down our scrapbooking sheets to that part of the mirror, the same part that we spray painted, okay? Don't get confused, don't flip it over. Now I chose this really nice flower design that I found at Joann's, but you can definitely use fabric or any other type of paper. Anything really goes as long as it lays flat. And once we cut that down to size, we're gonna put our picture frame back together and voila. For our third and final project, we are making a fire pit. You know, have a little campfire, C-A-M-P-F-R-E-S-O-N-G song. You can find the Patrick to your SpongeBob and have a little campfire. So Leo is a fire sign and I definitely wanted to do something involving actual fire. But this is an item where you can like host people around it and be the life of the party. For this project, you'll need a planter bowl, gel fuel, chalk paint, a spider strainer, and decorative rocks. Starting with the bowl, I'm gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna be painting our design onto the outside of the bowl. I drew a couple of things up and ended up going with that rainbow design, so that is what we're gonna be doing. Now using a small paintbrush and our chalk paint, I'm just gonna draw the design. So I'm gonna do the design on all four sides and then flip it over and do it on the spaces in between. I'm also gonna paint the bottom rim in that same color and do the same thing to the top rim. Now, it's time for the spoon kind of thing. And uh, my plan, let me tell you what I was going for here. I wanted to cut the mesh part out just so I can use that on top of the fire, just so the rocks don't fall in. 
what had happened was I did not have the tools to break metal like that. I don't know how I thought I was going to do it. Superpowers, the Holy Spirit, I don't know, but I was really convinced that I was going to cut this metal and I used everything. But the reason why I wanted to include this footage here is we're just going to roll with it and we're going to work with what we have. So that means we're going to be using the whole stick. And to make it blend in a little bit more, we're going to spray paint that handle an off-white color. Once we're done with that, I'm going to put the gel fuel in the middle and place the rocks all around it, inserting the spoon upside down at some point to cover that gel fuel can. And there you have it. Right, welcome back. I would have to say I have two favorites for this video. I can't choose. One is the mirror because I think it looks super unique and it's like a standout piece by itself or as part of a gallery wall. My other favorite has to be the personal fire pit just because I think it's kind of a cool outdoor type of DIY and it's something different for this channel plus I really like the design on the outside. I'm curious to know which one was your favorite and which one do you think you'll be trying soon? If you're feeling lucky, you can go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And if you're not feeling lucky, I'm so sorry, but I hope to see you again in the near future. I hope everyone is staying safe out there. And as always, thanks for watching.